Welcome everyone! My name is Jayas and this is the first time I'm actually making an intro for my channel. I think I first created my channel in here in early 2019 and I've used it pretty sporadically but one of my goals this year was to really start using it in a way that actually helps flesh out some of the other work that I'm doing. Um, I've streamed and have posted a lot of my art on my other social sites like TikTok and Twitch, but I wanted something different for this channel that would allow me to create community in a different way than what I've been doing on there since those sites are primarily built around the art that I make after I game, but I don't really get to interact with people or really anyone while I'm playing and I wanted to do that more. So this is what I'm going to be posting a lot more of now on this site. I'm still going to leave and post speed paints and animatics that are already up on my channel, but I think that gaming is more aligned with the direction of content that I want to primarily post here. I'm still very, very early uh, in the process of creating and upgrading my setup, but I wanted to start gaming and pushing out that content now anyway, so that I'm already used to that when I do get to upgrade things. And hopefully there'll be a few more of you uh, with me by that point. So I will talk more, I suppose, in the future about more concrete goals or like how I'm hoping to bring those in or hoping to grow this channel. Feel free to talk with me more on that if you decide that you want to stay with me on this journey. Uh, but I was really, really focused on making this new content as soon as possible. Uh, no coincidence, of course, to the fact that the 1.6 update for Stardew Valley just came out this Tuesday, this past Tuesday. Uh, that's one of my absolute favorite games. I love it so much. I have put hundreds of hours into it. I've restarted like four different times. The the reason for that, okay, is is kind of like a story in and of itself. But yeah, four times. We'll say three, though. Like that were really intentional restarts. Uh, but I've encouraged like so many of my friends to also play it. It's so much that I talk about a lot of what I post like on other things. I love, 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 love this game. I really do. Uh, but my current laptop is severely <laughs> under equipped to handle the modded playthrough that I'd want to have on the PC version. And my way of thinking was just that if I'm going to have to play like a vanilla stardew i figure i might as well just stay on the switch for now and wait until i have a pc that's just more optimized for it so no stardew as of yet <laughs> but i'd still like to be able to take some time i think to play other farming and management and cozy type simulation games that are on my wish list while i figure everything out and i'm looking forward to you guys joining me on that so without further ado Let's jump into the demo for this not yet released farming sim game called Pine Lily Village. So get comfy somewhere, uh, grab a snack, your uh, cozy drink of choice, uh, some water, because if you're anything like me, you could definitely stand to have some more reminders to drink more water in your life. Uh, and let's, let's get into it. Yeah. The, um, the Steam page for this game said it was inspired by the classics, which I'm going to assume, based on what I've seen so far, is based on, like, an include Stardew Valley. But I, I really do want to give this game an opportunity to stand on its own and to separate away from that. Uh, because it, it deserves a chance to, to be considered as its own thing, especially before it's released. There's not a, um... Oh, cute. I love that it started on this. Oh, you get a little animal. That's cute. Uh, there's not a release date for this as of yet, but I am following this game on Steam uh, so that I can get those updates. Full release, there will be more customization. Okay, so you just have these three for now. That's not bad. Uh, player name. So... I guess I just call everything JS. Oh, wait, no. I can't remember my name. We'll just go with Jamie. Companion name 
Maybe that'll be where the JS name goes. We'll use Luz Jamie for my name uh, and JS for the companion. You get to choose a companion? I guess that would be part of what you end up doing in the customization. That's gonna be cute though. Jamie and JS. This feels this feels super meta. My name would be J my name is Jamie. Companion's name is JS. Yeah, confirm, I guess. Okay. Wait. Oh, I guess you would just get to the pause menu by Oh. Ooh. Oh, I love this little sprite over here. Estrid, how cute. Temple Spirits won't even let me enter. It's worse than I thought. Oh, I'm so intrigued. She's got Temperament of Spirits, too. <laughs> okay. I'm writing to inform the caster Guild of Arnfell City that we are in need of a farmer. A very specific request. She's, like, rolling her eyes, too. <laughs> Last time we said left over a year ago, we have been unsuccessful in finding another. Due to the poor offerings these last few years, the spirits in our temple have weakened and are refusing to let villagers into the temple. What? If you know of any candidates, please send them our way. Obviously, that's where, wow, I just like showed up immediately. Oh my god. <laughs> I was going to say that's where we come in, but it was, oh my god, there's an owl. I was like, okay, so I look so fascinated by this owl now. Like, it's just so. I'm in awe, but I'm also so terrified. Uh, one thing about me, I am really afraid of birds. Beautiful creatures. There's just, there's a lot with them. We're better, we're better friends from a distance. But this is like all I'm seeing right now is this giant owl. The pixelation on it is super cute. I love it. And it scares me less than like the Stardew Owl. Since it's like super black and it's, yeah. Anyway, anyway, let's get back to Estrid. Welcome. You must be the new farmer, the guild recommended. So we're guild recommended farmers. My name is Estrid and I run the general store here in Pine Lily Village. I'm also the mayor of this village. Oh, so the mayor runs the general store. I'm not going to knock it. She's, she does more than Lewis. So there we go. I handle all correspondence and shipments with the city of Arnfell. I know village life is quite different from the bustle of city life, but I hope you'll come to appreciate its charms. Oh, another. Oh, great timing. Lady Valeska. I like that name. I want to introduce you to our new farmer. Indeed, it's a pleasure to meet you. I wish I could do voices. I'm... I'm so bad at voices. We're not even going to attempt it, honestly. But I just feel like, I don't know, she should have like a haughtier voice, I think, you know? Of course she would. I am a retired professor from the Armfell Academy. I could, I could, yeah, I could sense it. I offer my magical expertise and spell crafting services to all who live here. For a price, of course. Of course. She's a businesswoman. Since you are here to help the village, I wished to gift you these enchanted tools. They're far superior to the average farming tool. Oh, jeez. <laughs> she just hands me an axe, like, in the middle of the store. Little finger. These tools have been enchanted to enhance her capabilities and will never break. If you wish to upgrade them further, speak with me later. There's always an upgrade system, but I'm just glad that they won't break. That has always been like my biggest frustration with games is when our tools break and we need them. Ah, Estrid, excellent. Now that you have your tools, let's go see your new home. Please follow me. Oh, I guess she's just like taking us there. Everything is always so overgrown. I wonder what the layout is though. Like we weren't able to choose a layout. So I'm curious what natural farm layout they give us. And what that kind of brings. And she says, well, here we are now. I know it's not much to look at now, but I'm sure you'll have it looking good as new with a little elbow grease. <laughs> a little. <laughs> See, even she says it. <laughs> Maybe a lot of elbow grease. <laughs> anyway, if there's anything you'd like to sell, please place it in the wooden crate to the right of your farmhouse. That's, that's the left. 
right of it. I'll give you a good price for anything placed in it and handle coordinating with the caravans to sell your goods back in Arnfell. Oh my god. <laughs> it just turned into... I have so many questions. Okay, but this is wonderful news according to Estrid. That is a spirit companion and it must have been sent by the temple spirits. The reason we need a farmer such as yourself is help the village provide offerings to the local temple spirits. The previous farmer was lazy and wasn't able to grow much of anything, and the temple spirits have suffered ever since. Um, so again, remember how I like I mentioned that like I restarted my Stardew my Stardew save four times, like for the game and everything. Well, that first time was because I didn't know how to play, and it took me five years in game to actually start making a profitable farm so now I'm getting a little nervous I know I'm like guild recommended and everything and I wasn't lazy but I gotta like actually do well this time I feel like so stressed oh my god okay them sending a spirit companion is a good sign of their approval I'm like so stressed now they approve of me I haven't even done anything she said, but enough, enough for now. I know you've had a long journey to get here, so please take your time to get settled in and start fresh tomorrow morning. Oh, and one more thing. Here are some seeds. Always to get you started. I'm looking forward to watching you grow this farm into something beautiful. I feel so much pressure. I am so stressed. All right, it's the usual little tutorial thing. Oh, E. I have no books. I love that. Oh, did the music just like cut out? No, it's on. Is it just? Oh. Huh. Maybe it just does that. Oh, it does. Oh, that was a long. Maybe that's just because it's the demo. On the trail snack. Interesting. I'm glad that we come in with recipes. Oh, this thing like follows me everywhere. What's this do? <laughs> Thank you. Okay. I like the decor of our place. Okay, we're opening up the inventory. I can drop by clicking. Right now we have four. I mean, no, 15 core root seeds, they grow in four, four days, I'm assuming. Oh, that's helpful with the half, move shift, and then just escape. Cool. All items placed in this chest will be available at the crafting stations on your farm. Upgrade the chest to increase its capacity by talking to Finn. So Finn's somebody that we are going to have to talk to to get a bigger chest. I love that we already come with Oh, could we can decorate? This is something that I saw in like the demo gameplay. Like a lot of people are building paths and stuff. I'm curious to know if we're going to get more than like just wooden paths and be able to really branch out in the decoration on that. Or if we're just going to get these. I guess all of that will come with the full release. Old broken ritual stone. This could be used to transmute materials once it's repaired. Interesting. Oh, I have my own owl. <laughs> That's cool, I guess. I'm so stressed. Okay, and then that's the chest that she was talking about. That's just the if I wanted to sell something. I guess we'll just... Okay, our tools are down here. I need a pickaxe, which is two. Oh my god. Like, fire with it. That was... It's like, like, think, think. Jesus. I'm loving a little afro that, that we get, though. That is something that, like, I really do miss with a lot of the customization um, in unmodded Stardew Valley. Um, I just feel like a lot of this, or games in general, maybe don't always have. Let's see, Force is our scythe. Oh, perfect. It has... Oh, that's like a pretty wide range. That's nice. 
Um, I just feel like they don't really tend to have a lot of um, varied customization uh, for black characters in particular, but I would also extend that off to be people of color just like in general we tend to have the same or be blanketed into the same like three hairstyles so i am curious to know if in the further customization if we're going to get more than oh my god that was just <laughs> that's just a bunk <laughs> um if we're going to get like more than um just an afro as a customization. Not that I mind, again, it's just, we have other hairstyles. I'd like to have some uh, variety with that. I guess three is our hoe, yeah. Uh, we have 15. I'm just gonna make simple little, oh, I don't wanna hit my, okay. I'm glad I can't hit them. Glad we can't hit little JS. What is that R? Do you use that? Oh. Okay. I've got a lot of games now. But yeah. So, as I was saying, I am hoping that we get some more customization. Um. I'll be able to look forward to that as the game goes out. Okay. All right, we've done. I guess unless I click, I'm not gonna do anything. So I'm just gonna, is there anything else that we can explore while on the, what's this way? Oh, what's this? Oh my God. What do we have here? It looks like someone new to play with. Twin foxes. They are going to be so much trouble. You know, we haven't had a human interest in our lanterns in ages. But we did scare away the last few. There's <laughs> used to be a human long ago who was able to lure all kinds of interesting insects to our lanterns. She even logged which bugs were lured by what. Wouldn't be any fun at all. Precisely, so instead of her boring nose, we'll tell you riddles instead. Way better than just giving the answer. <laughs> Keep an eye out for our lanterns. Clean uh, claimed a quite no that's not on me okay we've claimed a quite a few places as ours <laughs> over the year okay just look for our lanterns and you'll find more riddles to solve it's going to be so much fun okay well which one is Starts as a seed in a shell smooth and round, holds the potential for a grant. Oh, oh, oh. They had a, um, there was an acorn somewhere, right? How would I get that? Somewhere down here? No, that's normally in the trees, so I have to, like, am I able to, like, hit the tree right now? Oh. So maybe it's in the tree? That's got to be an acorn. My God. An acorn. I'm going to be so embarrassed if this doesn't work out. But come on, come on. I believe in us. We did it. We saw the riddle. Okay. So I guess I just leave and come back. Oh, I should have checked if there was like a map or something. Faint magical presence around the ancient altar. You also hear an almost imperceptible humming sound coming from the offering bowl. Oh, I need wood. Oh, okay, I don't have that. Okay. That's cool. What's this? Nope, it won't let me touch it or go in there. Unusual mushrooms growing on this log. You wonder if you'll be able to explore deeper into the grove someday. Ah, that's outside of demo world. I love, love the, ah, I love the mushroom trees and these colorful tree things over here. That's super cute. What's this? Oh, <laughs> just straight up. Not available for the demo. <laughs> that's fair. 
Oh my god. Okay. I feel like I've gone way further than what I was supposed to. <laughs> so we're gonna go, we're gonna go back. But okay, there's a quarry all the way up to the top. The lantern thingies. What is that? Oh! It's a person up here. Oh, he's got a dog! A big... Hi! Oh! I love you too! Joran. There you are. Esther asked me to help you out. Name's Joran. I'm a fisherman by trade. I have been since I was far smaller than a guppy like you. A guppy? It's like a child. I don't know what the inner stages of a fish are, but a guppy. So now up, you can see if fish are close to the water surface by looking for moving shadows in the water. More common the fish, more shadows in one spot you'll see. Just catch your line and wait for a bite. Cerulean darter is quite common around here. Common, uncommon, and rare. Okay. Here in all bodies of water. Okay. Well, oh, there's some right there. Okay. You said it's quite common. How do I get it? Any button to stop the arrow, catch a fish in the arrow, stops in the colored arrow. There are two colored arrows, smaller rewards, an additional bonus. Oh. Okay, I think people will really like the fishing mechanic of this, because that actually wasn't too hard. Um, I'm someone... Okay, how do I get him? Seems like you're not as useless as the last one. Jesus. <laughs> oh, there might have come, come in handy. Okay. Wow, already completed a quest. Are we in like afternoon already? Can't tell. Pull my hands out. <laughs> Go to your inventory, select option. Well, I don't want to decrease, decrease the chance for higher quality fish. I'm actually somebody who... I like fishing a lot in the original Stardew. That was one of like the top my top skills the first time I ever played the game. So every time people were like, oh I hate fishing or this this, I'm always sitting in the corner like so quiet because my top two skills in Stardew were fishing and mining. Uh, and shortly after that was combat. I feel like I shouldn't spend the rest of my day here. I just wanted to see what else I can get. Another cerulean dart. So it only seems to like pop up like a new thing when it's there. But this is this is fairly easy. Um, so I think a lot of people would probably like this one. It's not. I'm trying to think in terms of like fishing mechanics. Who has the easiest one? Actually, the easiest one, I guess, is technically Animal Crossing, isn't it? Because all you have to do is just press the one button and then it reels it in for you. Um, it's really just a matter of making sure... Can I talk to the dog again, actually? Sorry, Jared. <laughs> so cute. Such a cute dog. So I will explore down below. Oh no, yeah, it's starting to get dark. I need to, I need to go see if there's other people. Is there, is there anybody up here? Oh, the tavern? Where's that? Nope. Okay. I spent my entire day fishing. That sounds about right. Oh, we found it. Oh, how cute. Oh, this is perfect. Now I can meet everybody like in one go. Tona, work for the Cassius Guild of Armfell as a ranger. Tona? Tana? I don't know. City of Armfell appoints people like me to keep neighboring villages safe from any creatures that might appear from the mountain. She's a warrior girl? Right, we're gonna meet everybody else first, but I'm kind of liking it. Okay. I also evaluate individuals who wish to enter the mountain. Oh, so I have to please her in order to get through the mountain. Okay. Many valuable resources can be found in a mountain, but the deeper you go, the more dangerous the creatures become. That makes sense. If you think you're up for it, you'll have to prove it to me first. I'm so ready. Welcome. Is it Yuri? I'm just guessing. My brother Eric and I live... Her brother has to be this other orange-haired character, so they're ginger here. Live at the library. Yuri and Eric. 
Um, most of the books are free. I do sell rare books that occasionally come in from passing caravans. Let me know if you're interested. I don't want to assume or nothing, but I am saying they're both kind of kikiing in the corner with their little drinks. I know my community when I see Jordan. What are you doing here? Oh, hi, I'm Eric. I'm studying the magical and archaeological significance of Pine Lily Village in the Shoney area. Did you know it's the oldest village in this mountain? Um, anyway, can you help me find my magnifying glass? You're just automatically going to ask me for something? You don't even know my name yet, Eric. Lost it the other day when I was out digging for artifacts. I think I might have accidentally buried it. How did you do that? Maybe your spirit companion. You're going to ask something of Jayas? She... Perhaps you should talk to Lady Valeska. She was a professor at our fellow academy and has studied spirit committees much more than I have. I guess I have to. I do like that we have like a whole scroll with it. Oh, oh, I can talk. Oh, hi. Oh, hi, my niece. You're who I need to talk to for my thingy. My chest. Here we go. Local carpenter around here. So if you have anything you want to build on your guy, I also sell farm animals and supplies to take care of them. If you have any questions, let me know. Is this a person? Yes. Oh, there's Estrid. No, oh, I told you this when we first arrived. As a reminder, I'm the general store owner, and I sell all the seeds and farming supplies you'll need, as well as useful crafting recipes. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Is that the less? Yeah. I think I will need to be in my house to be able to probably help you talk to me in the morning. Oh, I thought we would just be able to talk. Wait, you, you? Dang, she's just chugging from that wine. I love it. I'm loving the personality. You go, Helena? Yeah. My name is Helena. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm the owner of the Village Tavern. You'll never want for any better drink or food while you're here. I trust it. My husband, Karen, is an amazing cook. and I've been working on my wine making craft for a few years now. Don't be a stranger and come to the tavern one of these evenings. I'm, I'm in the tavern, Helena. But I hear you. I hear you. And I will not be a stranger. Oh my god, a sugar mill is selling. Interesting. I'm like all up in their kitchen right now. This has to be Garen. Yep. It's great to see newcomers in the village. You can call me Garen. My wife Helena runs the tavern while I handle the kitchen. Farming is hard work, so you want to eat good food to keep your energy up. I always welcome our tavern, but I think a farmer should also be so selfish. They have so much farmer shade. Jesus. <laughs> like, I just got here. Make your own delicious food elixirs at the fireplace in your farmhouse. Use high quality ingredients. Your dish will also be higher quality. But the... What is with... It's only been the men in this town. We had Jorand. We had Eric. We had Garen. All three of them, when I, when I talked to them, asked me to do something for them. And now it's become a whole quest. What happened to... Hi. How are you? My name is... Hello. What happened to this? Can we please? <laughs> At least he's giving me something. Then why are you making me make you a trail snack? Oh, okay. Oh, I should have looked at this earlier. Oh, I'm already like, like a farming level. Of course my fishing level is like, <laughs> this is nice though because I get to actually see like how close I am to leveling up. That's always been I think one of my biggest issues with Sardu Valley is that like I want to know or I'll spend like all day in the mine and not get anywhere and I have no idea how close I am. Um, I just have like that little bar in the corner, but I like I like how specific this is. Oh, a calendar. <gasps> they give you the calendar. A traveling merchant comes on the seventh day. Rain festival. Hi, Lily. How cute. Oh, and it tells you how much each one goes goes for in the bottom here. Oh. Okay, that's the only person I haven't met yet, then. I love how it just has question marks. <laughs> I don't know who Ingrid is either. I am such a huge fan, though, of the dark skin, white hair combo. Um, love that. Ingrid, I feel like I feel like you're going to be one of my favorites. You and I are going to be besties, girly. Total days play. <laughs> Total days play. Uh, I feel like this is going to be super embarrassing, but let's... Yeah, we're gonna hope that this is gonna be great. I didn't see anything um, in terms of like hearts or anything. Oh, oh, I like that it just naturally gives you like a little thing. Do I have to like go to sleep by a certain time? Okay, when it's nighttime and the music cuts out, 
It's pretty quiet. I wish there were like more ambient sound. Weird for there to be nothing until the next song comes out. But again, I'm thinking that's probably just a demo thing. I do like how the tools like glow. I think that's a really cute thing. When um, I first heard of this game, they said that it was Stardew Valley with magic. Um, but I think it's already kind of proving to be something else, even lore wise. Um, my only question though, Oh, I like the little glowworm looking thing. My main question, oh, we do have energy. I was just wondering about that. If they're a town that is based on like giving offerings to spirits and the spirits obviously need those things in order to be pleased and to give them good things. Um, why hasn't this town evolved to become more of a, uh, more of a farming village like there should be other farmers right oh what was the so trail snack we need an acorn a pine cone two of, two of each of those okay all right so i guess we make ourselves turn in for the night right do we just oh yeah we just sleep talk to villagers complete quest decorate your farmer exploits around the area i'm not gonna lie i also really appreciate this because again, part of the reason why I had to first restart my Stardew Farm in the first place was that it didn't really come with any instructions, like actual instructions or little tutorial things. I was just running around aimlessly for years. I didn't know how to do anything and I didn't know about the Stardew Wiki or anything. So I appreciate the fact that, oh, we got like $300 for those fish. This is why I love fishing. I'm not gonna lie. Open the journal. That didn't take me the way I thought it would. Okay, here we go. <laughs> and I found I found an acorn yesterday in one of the trees, so I should I should do that. Nope, that's a pickaxe. Yeah, these quests I think help out like early on. <gasps> we got a pinecone. Okay, perfect. Oh, and it takes like a little bit of time. Oh, but we have it. I'm going to give them another acorn then. Okay, so here's fifty. Okay, 50 rocks. Sometimes the hard loads to the far the mountain. We're more than three days journey from Arnfell, which is where my family lives. I could really use one of my brother's favorite scones fresh from the oven. Oh, that's so sad. I didn't get to go into anybody's house yesterday. Oh, this makes more sense. She's got magic. Yeah. Oh, I love this. Can I talk to you? No, I can't. That's okay. It's very Fantasia. I love it. Spirit companion be able to locate Mary. Well, I don't. Finn does. My studies at the academy, we discovered that spirit companions have the ability to sense an object, especially older ones. Normally, spirit companions grow this sense over time, but this one is quite young and would take decades to grow this ability on their own. Jeez, girl, are you taking decades? I didn't wait that long, I believe I can use my magic for my ritual stone here to boost your spirit companion's power. Is that gonna be ethical? Like, are we... I don't wanna test anything out on my spirit companion. Is she gonna be okay? Cause like, it, it naturally takes decades. I don't know how I feel about us kind of microwaving her, um... Her growth potion. Oh, okay. I guess we're gonna have to. Jeez. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> that should do it. I'm sure Eric will be happy to hear your companion can now locate, locate his magnifying glass. Please come back and be seeing adverse. Adverse side effects this is what I was talking about. We <laughs> this is cool though. It's just money that we need to like upgrade things. We don't also have to uh, bring ore for things like that. Oh, oh, oh. I did. You can make dishes at the fireplace in your farmhouse. Great job. It's quite skillfully made. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> As promised, here's the recipe for coral root sticks. Crunchy, a bit sweet, and very refreshing after a hard day's work. Hopefully soon you'll be able to harvest your own coral roots to make them. Now I have to go talk to Eric. <laughs> oh, I need to find Ingrid. The, um, woman with the white hair. Oh, 
No, that's Finn. Carpet two friends of my family. I grew up with a saw in one hand and a hammer in the other. That sounds dangerous, but I forgot your name. Yuri, there we go. I hope you brought some Sandra. I did. Favorite spring flower. I like the idea that we might be able to like read here. I don't know what we're gonna be doing. But I like that. And the little decor in these houses is so cute. I wish I did see or maybe that's what's up here, the little bedrooms. To be honest, she scares me a bit, but she has so much knowledge, I might have to try harder to talk to her more. What do you need? What do you need? Is what what do you need, Eric? Yeah. Oh yes, of course. I think my magnifying glass is near the windmill here. Then why? It's just so weaponized incompetence. Please, Eric. <laughs> I guess I'll have to, but geez. <laughs> just the way that he's like, yeah, I think it's by the windmill. That's, I saw one over here. Oh, okay. She found something. I was just wondering how she was going to do that, but... You are a trooper. You're wonderful. You know what? And I think he can wait a bit for us to fish. Wait, do we have inventory space? I'll figure it out in a moment, I guess. I really want to steal some of this wheat. I'm not going to. But I'm so, so tempted. It's just sitting there. <laughs> okay, I have like one more inventory space. Okay, let me go to Eric. Got a little question mark over his head. Oh my goodness. I love how they ask that instead of like anything else. I do love though that I can't accidentally gift them things. Oh, and um, I'm sure there are a lot of other interesting artifacts buried in this area. If you happen to find any, please bring them. There's always someone who is collecting artifacts. It was Gunther's or New Valley. It's Blathers and Animal Crossing. Um, who is it in Palia? He's trying to establish a museum. Because of course he is. I shouldn't try it, but I am. Nope, it won't let me. It will not let me harvest this. Oh my god, I got trapped. That's what I get, I think. <sighs> That's my fault. This is blocking you from entering. I wonder what the offerings are going to look like. Like, are they solely things that we would be able to, um provide i really want to find ingrid sorry for the slightly ugly farm you guys <laughs> i have a feeling ingrid is on the other side of this if i could i would these graphics are so cute though like i know i'm scared of birds but like this little pile is like so cute where it just goes and flies oh maybe ingrid's up here Oh, I know this seems to be different levels of the quarry. So maybe not. So we stuck together frost. You have to wait until summer or fall. Interesting. Oh wait, we have we have 50 stone. I was just about to say maybe I can see if we can get to 50 stone. We have it. I'd be so happy if we could figure out what this does. Please be fiber next, because if you need 50 fiber, bam, I got you. Come on. Yes. It's already done. Loud and almost melodic. What is that? What is that? What? Okay. I don't, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, but there's like a little fish thing up here. I wonder when we're gonna get the little bonus. I want the blue one. I would be pretty embarrassed though if I did the bonus and then went for it because it said the ring would be smaller if I miss it. Oh, I just did it! <laughs> I just said that. I just said it. I just said it. I just said, I spoke it into existence. That's what happened. I spoke it into existence. Now I am sad. <laughs> I'm, I'm about to just stand right here until I can like, 
get another one. Oh. Wow. That was so embarrassing. <laughs> Uh, maybe this is why I haven't played um, or streamed any of my of my gameplays. So it's embarrassing if it's like just me. You know, who knows who notices these things? No one. No one's there to witness my downfall. <sighs> I'm gonna be thinking about that. It's gonna be like 2 a.m. and I'm gonna be thinking about this. <laughs> like I lost the one chance. Please, please, let me try again. Please. I'm hoping that if I ask for it, because last time I asked for it and then I also said I was going to miss it. So maybe if I ask for it again. I believe, I believe in this. I'm just so sad now. I'm so embarrassed. Are we running away? No. You know what? We're not going to run away. Instead, we're gonna put on, we're gonna put on the slow allure. We're gonna stay right here. We are gonna fish and we're gonna get another bonus and everything's gonna be great. It's going to work out. Oh, I need to go to Eric. I just thought about that. I will go to Eric tomorrow and everything will be okay. Oh, a spiral shell. I wonder if any of this stuff is stuff I meant to give to this man. We did it! Oh, and a tuned crystal. Oh, well, that's very well then because we would have been at the very end of that. Okay. <sighs> I'm so happy now. I'm so glad we got it. I don't know if I can reach this man before the, um, nope, I cannot. I think I might just go to bed, honestly. Because everybody's just down there anyway. I can't give um, Eric his stuff until tomorrow. <gasps> Farming level two. <gasps> Yay! Wow, we got like a bunch. Wow, okay. Those flame bugs come in a lot. Oh, two, two, two. That's the, um, what is that? Numerology. Couples? Union? Lovers and six 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 I think is no five 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 is change. Was six about relationships as well? I have to go back and look at that if you can't tell. I have been new to the study of numerology stuff. So any of you guys are also budding or more advanced numerologists, let me know. I'd love to chat about it. I'm like constantly bringing this up around people and they'll be like, please leave me alone. <laughs> so it would be great to have people to like talk to with this. Oh, wait. Oh, my thingies are ready. Tomorrow's going to be a bright and sunny day. Do I need the, the scythe to harvest this as well? No? Maybe, maybe not? I don't want to use... Maybe it's not ready. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's not ready yet. Okay. That is okay. Oh, oh my God. She's like rushing toward me. You're suddenly unwell. I wanted to talk to you about an opportunity I think you'll be interested in. Come walk with me to the mountain entrance. <gasps> it's time for me to fight. I'm going to prove myself. We went like 10 feet around the corner. Mountain here is a major focal point for your magical power in the region. That must... Concentrated magical energy has attracted many dangerous creatures to the mountain. Part of my job as a ranger is to make sure no creature leaves the mountain and harms any villagers. Other part of my job is to make sure anyone wishing to enter the mountain is prepared for what lies within. The mountain used to have an old mining operation in it, but the mountain creatures eventually drop off the miners. Why would anyone want to enter a mountain filled with dangerous creatures, you ask? No, because I'm, I'm ready. Let's go in. Well, because of the rare and valuable resources within the mountain, of course. I mean, of course, yeah. And for a fact, there are rare metals and precious gems that would be useful on your farm. To that end, I want to make sure you're ready for what awaits you in the mountain before I allow you to enter freely. First, you will need food. There are very few ways to heal yourself while in the mountain, so you'll have to bring your own supplies. Talk to Garen. I'm sure he can help you out. Second, you need a magical way to defend yourself. Talk to Lady Valeska. I'm sure. Oh, wait, Valeska. 
Yeah, yeah. So everybody is calling her Valeska. I think her name tag says Valenska. Right? I'm going to go check it out. We're going to go see. Oh, wait, wait, I can see right now, right? Yeah, her name says Valenska. I wonder if I can, like, just let the game devs know. That should be, like, a simple and easy fix. I'm sure other people might have said it, but what if they have it? Nobody realized it's Valeska and Valenska. I just want to know, like, what her name is supposed to be on the other side. Do I have to talk to you guys every day to keep, like, relationship points up with you? It doesn't really... I feel like it. I'm always excited to go to the tavern during spring. After a long winter, the fresh vegetables are finally abundant, and Gary makes the most of it. She gets into everything. Like, oh, baked fish. <gasps> I want that. Yeah. Yeah, let's get me the uh, thing for that. Oh, Tona wants you to be able to finish up in the mountain. I'm glad I didn't even have to tell her. Probably magic. 2D in combat spell casting. That would take. Everything takes years of study, which makes sense. But I'm so afraid she's about to also give me some supercharged magical potion. And I'm just... I don't like the idea about this testing. Magic and science are like one and the same. <sighs> Perhaps your spirit companion... Oh, not more testing on JS. Not my spirit companion. Oh, God. You're already attuned to the magic of the area, which could allow you to channel the concentrated magic of the mountain through specific spells. This is all rather experimental, so you would be limited in spell choice until you've gained more experience. Happy to give you the basic spells for free, but for the more powerful spells, I will ask for monetary compensation. Makes sense. Please walk over here and select your spells at the lectern. JS, I don't want to, like... Oh, she she literally meant this. Hydro shot deals ten energy to a ten damage <laughs> to an enemy. Energy deals no damage but will inflict soaked on all enemies for two rounds. Deals thirty damage to an enemy has a chance to inflict soaked for three rounds. Deals twenty damage to all enemies. Damage is doubled if enemy is soaked. So. I suppose that would be everything that I need to add in here. Okay. I would like to encourage you to experiment with different spells once you've gained more experience with casting. Some elemental spells have unique synergies that would behoove you. <laughs> behoove. What a fun word to explore. Feel free to return to the lectern to explore exchange spells whenever you wish you best go back and talk to tana now that you can defend yourself jays i'm so sorry i feel like we are constantly using you bud this was the tavern right it's gotta be it's got the little thingies okay i do love that their sprites are doing something different every day inside like each of their places i'm glad tana told you to get supplies and many different benefits that food can give you other than being delicious of course Many cooked dishes will boost your health or energy, but there are other beneficial side effects of certain dishes. I know of one I got from a village elder not too far from here who swears it can counteract negative magical effects. I've never tried it myself. I'd be happy to share the recipe with you. Experimented with that recipe last night and gave it to Helena to try. Still has some she can, you can take with you, and I'm sure she also has some leftovers to give you from last night. I sometimes get a bit ambitious about how much our village can eat through in one night. Glad I just had to go two feet over. Oh sure, I'm happy to help. Here's some health elixirs, which thankfully we haven't needed for any years. And I do have some leftovers of the River Medley Garen. Oh, River Medley Garen needs last night as well. <laughs> she goes, oh Tony, you have the needed supplies. Hmm. Okay. Actually, before I get into that, I know it's not the end of the day, but I'm thinking with that, maybe it would be good to end here. Let me like maybe get back to my house. I know I'm going to have to save. Oh my God, I didn't water anything. I thought this demo was going to be shorter. Most demos, I think only do like a little bit. So like, it's really cool that there's a lot more to explore, but then this, 
Um, am I able to like sit in any of these or no? Nope, I cannot. That's okay. We'll just stand here, JS and I. Um, oh wait, why would I do that when I can? Okay, I saved. Main menu, I guess. Okay. That was super interesting. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. So, seems like there might be a little bit more to explore. I'm also gonna be so embarrassed if we go into the, um, the next episode of this and for some reason it, like, ends after day four. I'm gonna be so sad. It's just, it's already been so long, so... And I want to get into something that I think might be a good starting point somewhere else. So, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see how it works out. Uh, but I wanted to... Thank you guys so, so much uh, for joining me on today's episode. I hope you look forward to the next one. I'm definitely looking forward to it. I am, I know in the intro I was mentioning like in the beginning I'm going to come and maybe talk a little bit more about concrete goals. Uh, same kind of goes for a schedule. This is all very, very new to me. I'm still working out my actual work schedule and trying to figure out a good time. Uh, to publish. I know I can't even think about it weekly right now because next week I actually go out of town. <laughs> so maybe it'll be a bi-weekly thing. We'll see. Um, and we'll definitely talk, I think, more about that or kind of figure out what works as a nice little flow for, for all of us. Uh, but I look forward, regardless of whatever it is, to seeing you on our next pixelated adventure. Thanks again for joining me. Hope you guys have a great time until the next time and I will see you then. Bye.